Well, Al Harrington called for the push off, negating the Steven Jackson layup. So it remains at nine with 8.16 remaining in the ball game. But we've talked about when the Warriors move the ball, they can be so much better. And Beadrich becomes a factor. Players moving without it. And the Warriors just a better offensive team when the ball's hopping around. Without the dribble, you move the ball, you move the defenders. And they can't catch up to the pass nearly as easily as when someone dribble drives, dribble penetration, or just goes one-on-one -on -one to finish. Well, nearly a stellar end-to-end -end play by Harrington, but here's what Joe Forte saw. Now, the reason Harrington did that, you see he had the left hand dribble. He wanted to protect the ball. It felt a little bit of pressure there and wanted to release that pressure, but they're both side-by-side, -side, a little bit of contact. Really didn't affect the play. The ball is being passed. The Warriors, they've had a couple breaks themselves, so you play through it. Point game with eight minutes to go. I hope they've learned not to leave Kid alone. The three point lane. Malik Allen, who started the game so hot, now has a dozen on five of ten shooting. He's a pretty good catch and shoot player. It's an interesting time at the eight minute mark. Warriors could have had the 11 point lead. And Allen holding on to be a drench. Now the nice thing here is the Warriors have gotten into the bonus with a lot of time left in the ball game. Just flashing into the post, into the middle. All tied up. He just couldn't untie himself, and now he gets a chance at the line. Well, Andre 17 and 17 last night. Another double double tonight with 10 and 12. And now it's a free throw in. Well, the Warrior basketball camps the summer sessions, boys and girls ages 8 to 16, to get $20 off. Each session, if you sign up by May 30th, and two tickets to a preseason game for next year, log on to warriors.com. And Beadrich, perfect from the line. Andres with 12 and 12. Got 12 so points on six shots. Those are two important things for Andres there. And Beadrich nearly knocked it away. Brandon Bass recovers with 10 to shoot. Bass. Able to shoot over Beadrinch like Barnes and a foul on the Warriors on the rebound. And Harrington will pick up his fourth. Three Warrior team fouls. Zabuki, Harrington, Barron, Jackson, and Beadrinch. Josh Howard leading the way for Dallas. He's got 28 with the ball. They're playing that zone like they did last night against Carmelo Anthony when Howard has the ball. Bass inside. And another foul. They went to the zone look and brought Beedrich over. And played Howard like they did Anthony. Well, Beedrich just couldn't avoid contact. And Bass turned his back and got the contact on the backside. Brandon Bass is doing what you talk about, Jim. If you happen to be a good foul shooter at 81%, yeah. he, he loves the bump and ground. Sure. Well, it's... Go Unless in there you and mix it up. You do something really silly. If you get contact, you're the one that's going to benefit if you're the offensive player. Harrington with four fouls. Barnes has five. Monte Ellis back in. Harrington, though, is 14 and 9, huge. With the Andres 12 and 12, and Azabuki getting 8 and 6. It's a different story than last night. And Bass knocking down a couple free throws. Just keeps him within striking distance. The Warriors are going to have to score a few more points here. Eight point lead at halftime, eight point lead at the end of three, but just can't shed the Mavericks. Middle of the zone, that's where Barron operates. Buki dangerous to drive against Kidd. Finding Monte. Shot clock at five. Almost from the baseline. Monte missed his last four shots. Monte nearly the steal. Terrific anticipation of Kidd kicking it out to the corner. Gets acquainted with the people in the corner. Uh, he, knew, he, he knew exactly where that was going. The kid's not trying to finish driving layups. He's trying to set people up. Now driving. 
Young again. This is probably going to be on Ellis. What do you get in? Peters was there. Count the bucket and the foul, and Brandon Bass has 17. Peters did a great job moving his feet, established the position, and I have no idea why Ellis came in to try to help on the big guy. Josh Howard, 28, but Brandon Bass has become the Kenya Martin of tonight. 18 off the bench in 19 minutes for Brandon Bass. And the Warriors, you can just sense the pensiveness in the building. Fans are more than nervous here. Monte down the lane, and he will draw the blocking foul. Also succeeded in slowing the game down, going half court to half court, keeping the Warriors out of the running game. The Warriors had 25 fast break points through three quarters, but only two halfway through the fourth here. And Monte with his first fourth quarter point. There's enthusiasm in here tonight, but there's definitely an air of seriousness. Yeah, well, I think that the fans are as nerve-wracked as the, the Warrior players. Second free throw miss, Warriors 24 of 30, 80% from the line. And they all know what's at stake. And then Bass missing there, but Kidd with the offensive rebound. Terry from deep, and Azubuki is fouled. So Glenn Azubuki on the defensive boards. Lake Allen will pick up the foul and Azubuki to shoot two more free throws. That'll take us to a stoppage with 5.54 remaining in the game. Can the Warriors eat one out against the Mavs? Brandon Bass giving Dallas plenty off the bench.